Hey YouTube. Hey y'all. Okay, I'm at the gym. Today is Friday, Veterans Day. And I just got done doing a assessment with a trainer or coach here at Crunch. So basically this is an important matter for me. And it's based on his honest assessment. I gotta get this weight off. I went on the scale and I ended up gaining weight. So I'm not at 300, thank God. But when he said, and I'm quite sure I can confirm it on my scale at home, that it was like 283 pounds. Now I know some of y'all probably told me that it looked like I've gained some weight throughout the years. So, with my diabetes being what it is, and my um, health and the neuropathy and the pain, I have to change. I, I have to change, not tomorrow, not next January 1st. Another day. Mm, this thing is, why is this thing hard? All that has to change. Now, his recommendation to me, no, not surgery, but he says, you don't want to get to that point. And I have a year. So next year, God willing, one year from now, when I will be 55, this year, it'll connect to me Saturday. I, it's amazing that when I thought, when I think about what I was working out and doing, you know, working out and exercising, and then here it is, three years, three, or oh, a little bit over three years since the pandemic. I had to think, when did I become so inactive? When did I stop doing the things that I was doing? Now, His name is Z, real nice guy. Was what is what is what is it that I have to live for? And even though it could be a little bit depressing at times, single, no kids, I said I have to live for myself. That was the first thing, live for myself. And I don't want to wait till I turn 60, five years from now, starting next week Saturday to try to work towards being in health. I want to be able to live the remaining majority of my life because I already lived more than half of my life at this point. I've lived half of my life. And since I've lived half of my life already, more than half of my life, because I'm not gonna to live too past 100. I know, I'm not. My great-grandmother, you know, she was almost 100. My grandmother is 95 years old. So, oh, Jesus Christ, I I did work out with him. So, oh man. Um, it wasn't good. But you know what? I'm gonna have the motivation and the determination to keep, um, keep at it. 
you know. But it also begins to your mind, your mindset, having the right mindset. Ooh, Jesus, wait a minute. <laughs> and as long as I have that right mindset and positivity, because I'm gonna be honest, I know I've been negative. I know I've been a bitch. I know I've been negative. I know I turn people away, you know, because dealing with past hurts, dealing with, um, what is it, childhood, tra I'm not going to say childhood trauma, dealing with trauma all of my life, for various different things, but I have to say to myself, you know what, I can't dwell on, oh, why well, I'm not married, oh, why well, I'm single still, why well, I got no kids and grandchildren, you know, I have to live for myself. I have to realize that I'm not going to have, I have to be honest, I'm not going to have anybody in my life that they'll be taking care of me. I have to learn how to take care of myself, you know? So, I'm surely and slowly going back to my, to my, um, what you gonna call it? To my ways of being happy again, you know? Going to the gym and possibly going to a house of worship or church. I'm not sure if I wanna go back to. I'm not sure if I wanna, um, I don't know where I wanna go to. I've gone to a few places throughout the years. But, um, you know what? Guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go somewhere on Sunday. Even if it's, um, I don't know, maybe go back to the Rail Hope or even the neighborhood church up the street from my house. What do you say back uh, What, what happened to my thing? All right, let me go back to the. I'm not interested in going to, but um, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to shampoo my hair because shampoo my hair, um, find me something to wear, and I'm going to go to church on Sunday. I'm going to go back because that's what I want. And find me a, a church home. I mean, I've gone to you know I've gone to different churches in Atlanta since I've lived here, but I never really was um, didn't really find one that you know that I felt part of being. But I think um, I'm gonna narrow it down to two: either Ray of Hope. Oh, I'm going to go to Annistown Church, which is up the street from my house. I went there one time before, and I really did enjoy going there. Even though I went there once, but I enjoyed going there because um, it was, you could tell it was like a younger, young pastor and the wife. You know how they, it was rainy one day, one Sunday, and she, she was the first lady, and she ran, and she's real fit, too. She had like these killer arms, and I remember how welcome they were. It wasn't that big. It wasn't no huge beggar church or nothing like that. But it was, um, they done a lot of things in the community, I could tell, because when they used to give out the food bank, I would go there. Um, and I always still get emails from them of activities. And then the other thing was maybe going back to Ray of Hope as well. I'm not sure yet. So, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back because I do need 
I think I think this years of being in COVID and you know I think it kind of even though that was going on what three years ago I think it took a lot of toll for me in a sense that it um, it caused a lot of isolation and depression but I think that even be, even in, even before COVID happened I think I've always been going through a depression it's just, I can see it in the way I keep up my house I can see it the way how I keep up myself you know if speed is up one of the things he said is to work out at high intensity in cardio so let me go ahead and do this So I just ask, you know, I know I've lost a lot of people who I thought were friends, you know, because if they were truly a friend, they wouldn't just make this, they just wouldn't abandon me in a sense. So I know some of y'all on here, y'all been with me for a long time. Y'all followed me through my journey. Y'all followed me some of the most egregious things I may say at times. And then, trust me, I do appreciate y'all. So don't let it, don't think that I don't. But anyway, I don't want this to be long. I'm gonna finish my workout. And then I'll cool down in the massage. And it's kind of early and I haven't decided if I'm going to do Walmart Spark today. I haven't done anything with Walmart Spark in the last two weeks. So, I mean, I've done it like maybe one day here, but not, not to the extent. But I just needed a break. So, I'll probably go to the library. I wonder if the library is open because Veterans Day. I'm going to see if they open. And if they open, I'm going to go to the library. If they're not open, I'll probably go to um, maybe like Panera Bread and sit there with my um, computer, you know, get me something, get me some lunch slash dinner. I haven't ate a Panera in a while, so I think that's what I'll probably do. Because at least I have an option, I can get a, like a soup. Now, I already got some soup at home for Panera, so I don't want to buy soup when I know I got soup. So I may get like a, I may get like a salad. Um, salad and, um, what do you think? You pick two. So I don't know. I'll see. I'm trying to think of some place I could go healthy. But I said I was supposed to be spending outside money. I'm supposed to be cooking at home. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all later. I'll come on live stream. If I'm at the library, we'll go live stream. Or I'll be live streaming wherever I'm at. I'm just going to stay at the house for a minute. Go, you know, study. That's what I'm gonna do. When I leave here, I'm gonna study. I got my laptop. Study my lessons. But I'm gonna make this a priority of my health because it is critical that I get this done. Because as the coach told me, he said, you know, you're demising your life. It's just, it's, that's how, that's how critical it is. And since, you know, I can't rely on the doctors to help me, or not even help me, because they don't really help you, in my opinion. But I could at least, um, you know, take care of your health, take ownership of your health, and be a and be an advocate for your health. Just not go to these doctors and they give you these pills and these prescriptions or 
people try to say, oh, you can do the weight loss surgery. That's one thing he told me not to do. He said, now, if after a year, and I don't get this weight off, say a year or whatever, then surgery may be necessary when you wait. But they said that's the last resort. And the thing about it is that most people get on those weight loss surgeries, they end up gaining the weight back and don't sustain it. But I don't want to happen. I don't want that to happen anyway. No. I do not want to do that. Because I remember when I had my breast reduction surgery a few years ago. I tried, I was losing weight, I was getting healthy. I you know, and then um I had the weight, I had the breast reduction surgery, not because it couldn't um, go down, because it did, I did lose some of that um, breast size, because when I was losing weight, I lost four in the bands and it went down. I'm not gonna tell y'all what it used to be, but let me tell you this, it used to be, put it this way, a, um, a size M, if there is such a thing, there is. And not double D, but M. So I had lowered down four sizes of that and the band size. So even though I look at myself now, I'm extremely small considering what I used to look like. But maybe I'm gonna go back about old pictures and then you can go, I, you know what? I'm gonna go back about old pictures and I'm gonna post, um, I'm gonna post, um, those weight loss pictures and what I did, what I was weighing. I think I did it once before, but I'm gonna try to do it again, and then y'all can truly see it. So, all right. So let me finish. It's 17 minutes. I didn't even talk too long, and I've been on here. I'm trying to look at my watch, but let me keep on going. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all later. Have a good one. Bye.